my stomach went up in my throat. On Tuesday, Donna Carter was told that state police were resuming their search of a property in Skelhegan, the last place her daughter, 40-year-old Tina Stadig, was last seen on May 28, 2017, before she disappeared. We were here in December doing a search. It's a fairly expansive property, and due to winter conditions, we weren't able to continue what we needed to. Carter hoped she might finally get some answers, but says the search came up empty. I was like really, really crushed. I felt like, oh no, it's all over again. Tina Stadig had been battling her demons. Drug addiction and struggles with mental illness led her to stay in shelters or sleep on friends' couches. But she called her mother and sisters regularly to check in on them and on her two sons. Carter says her daughter's problems didn't define her. She was a good person. She had a big heart. She cared for people. She always wanted to help people, even when she couldn't even help herself. That was her teddy bear. In the past year, scattered, unconfirmed sightings of Stadig have been reported from Skalhegan to Bangor. But Carter does not believe any are her daughter, whose disability account has not been touched since she vanished. I know that she is gone. I just want somebody, to, somebody knows something. Somebody's got to know something. And I want somebody to speak up. The woman who brought Tina Stadig into the world now asks for help bringing her home, even if that means laying her to rest. If she would just call one more time, I would answer that phone. I would talk to her forever and ever and ever. I just wanted to know how much I love her and miss her.